All right, so this is fresh off the printer, and this will be the uh, solar boost pack. This is the boost pack for solar in one type devices, and it'll hold these 100 farad uh, Maxwell supercapacitors. So I'm going to get this off, remove the wrapping, and uh, we'll hook this up. Okay, so I've got the uh, solar boost pack uh, finished up. I've got all the uh, capacitors connected in series. I have the uh, balancing uh, circuitry connected with the uh, diodes and the LEDs. Now I went ahead and charged one of these um, up to about two volts, and I've, this one's about a, a volt and a half. And what I want to do is now I want to connect up the whole pack and charge these and see if these ones stay in balance with the rest, if the circuitry actually performs as I expect it to, or if these get way out of balance. Because this circuit should uh, put a load on any of the uh, capacitors that are above 2.5 volts, and that load should hold them down and let the others charge up. So this is really a test, so I've got this connected here. I'm gonna, I've got the power supply set at 13.2 volts. Let me uh, connect it up. It's charging up, as you see here, it's charging at one uh, amp, and it's at four, almost five volts. So the voltage is going up, and what I want to watch is this. And you can see this uh, LED is getting pretty hot here. It's at 2.1 uh, volts on this cell, and all the rest of the cells are charging as well. And really what I want to make sure is that this charge function slows down uh, these two cells and lets the other two charge up to the full voltage. And this is kind of an extreme test because this was two volts out of balance. So this may be a little much to start with, but we'll see. Um, this should be real interesting. So you can see that the two that were charged are coming on hot, they've got a load, and the rest should be charging up now. So let's see what we're at here. We're at eight volts. And we're about 2.5 here. If that gets up to about 2.7, that would be the uh, topped off point for these other cells. So we'll watch and see, 2.6, at 2.7 I will disconnect this and let it balance back down and we'll try again because we're getting the pack up almost to the desired voltage and it's at 2.7 now. So let me just disconnect this. We'll let this uh, settle down here a little bit. So you can see this is uh, trimming the voltage down quickly on this uh, cell. These are ultra bright red LEDs and they are doing their job. Perfect. So we'll let those settle down. Um, the rest of the pack should uh, balance out. Let's just take a reading on the, uh, the pack as a whole here while we're waiting. So the pack as a whole is at 10.78 volts. These two cells are out of balance and the balancing uh, circuitry is working correctly and it is bringing that voltage down, so. All right, I'll come back to this later when these are back down to say two volts and we'll try one more charge up and we'll see how that works. Okay, so you can see we're down at 1.8 volts. The red LEDs, I don't know if you can see it here, they're just barely glowing. So what they do, they don't completely discharge this boost pack because they start to pull, you know, microamps and then they just turn off at about 1.5 volts or less. So it won't completely discharge this pack and even at this low voltage, the discharge rate is so, um, so little that it's, it's barely gonna weigh this pack down. And what I really like about this for the solar boost pack is this circuitry is very efficient for keeping the uh, pack balanced. And uh, really, in actuality, this pack is designed for 22 volts. Um, the solar panel and the inverters and stuff will be running around 13 volts. But I wanted this to be able to absorb the full voltage of the solar panel without uh, going above the rated voltage on the capacitors. So this has a really wide voltage range, and these uh, Capacitors will probably never even get out of uh, balance very much, but if they do, this circuitry will really do the job, I can tell. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect it back up, and we will continue the uh, charge cycle going up on this and see if the balance uh, function works on the way up. So you can see that we got the voltage climbing back into the pack. We are at 10 volts and climbing, and we'll just see... Uh, See if we can get it up to the 13 volts that I have it set with the uh, pack staying in balance this time. Uh, after that, I'll bring the whole pack up to the 22 volts and then let it balance down. So 
Let's see what happens here. We're at 11, we're almost to the 13 volts. And this, uh, this capacitor is starting to come on pretty bright along with its neighboring one, the rest are off. So I've got a, I'm gonna make a prediction. Yeah, look at that, 13 volts and we're at 2.5. So this balancing circuitry should keep this capacitor bank in balance, even when they're extremely off balance, you know, a full two volts off. I'd say that one of these could have one volt in the uh, bank, charge up to 13 volts, and based on what we just did, it would probably keep them all under the 2.7 volts. So let's see what we're at. We're at 13.21 volts, and everything has stabilized. So these guys are going to trim down and they're going to balance back into the rest of the pack. So, okay. So you can see these, these are just barely glowing now. So, and it's taken a long time, but it does balance uh, out. So we have a uh, slightly higher voltage in these two than the rest of these. And what I want to do now is I want to set my voltage up here at the 22 volts. Let's get this to 22 volts and we'll bring this thing up. All right, so we set this at 22 volts. Um, let's go ahead and charge this, this pack up and uh, see if these all stay in balance as it goes up. So you can see we're at 14. Climbing uh, pretty good here. We're, char we're inputting at an amp. So we're at uh, 15 volts. Now what should happen is we should get glowing on all of, oh, look at this. You can actually see the balancing circuitry starting to work. This one here is starting to glow a little hot. These ones are all starting to glow a little bit. Uh, the entry in both of these are hot and the rest of them connected uh, here in series are starting to glow so this is really interesting. The balance circuit works folks. It's simple. So it's a great circuit. I've seen it bouncing around the internet. Um, finally got around to trying it so I'm liking this. Let's see what we're at here. We're at 17 volts. Oh look at that. This thing is just really coming to life. It's kind of neat because you can actually see which cells have an over voltage. You can see this one's at 2.5 volts and it's getting really bright. 2.6. I may actually uh, slow this one down and let this balance out a little if I need to. Actually, I don't think I need to. The balance circuit will do its job and uh, it'll climb right on up there. So. We're right at 20 volts and uh, this one's got a little bit of over voltage 20.8 so I'm going to disconnect and let this one settle down a little bit because it had a higher voltage on it at the beginning but uh, this balance circuit man is it doing its job you can see these are the ones that we had charged earlier they got more voltage these guys had never been charged up to this voltage and they're on but not to this extent these guys will bleed off this extra voltage and this will all balance out very very nice Okay, so it's settled back down here a little bit. Um, we are now in the final charge up to the 22 volts. So we're coming up on 21 right now. And 22 volts should be 2.7 volts in uh, each of these. And uh, I discharged this one a little bit extra earlier to bring it down to uh, a little lower so we could charge this sooner. Um, you can see that these guys are really hot. I wanna see what they're at in uh, voltage. Right at 2.7. Let's check some of the others. Right at 2.7. And man, these are all balancing out now. Very nice. This circuit works. These cells are all balanced out. I'll give it a second here to settle down and I'll take another look at it. But I, what I want to do next, I'll have somebody hold the camera here and I want to check the voltage on each cell and see how close they are to being uh, within voltage. So, one second. All right, so this has been setting for a little while and uh, it's got 22 volts coming in. This should be balanced out uh, to very close at this point. And the longer this sits, the closer it should get, but let's do a check. So we're at uh, 2.796 on the first one, uh, 2.781, 2.748, uh, 2.8, 
two, let's see here, 2.762, 2.720, 2.7, 2.7, uh, come on, 2.786 and 2.732. So you can see that these are all at 2.7 volts. So this uh, balance circuit works great. Uh, and this little uh, mini boost, solar and mini boost pack is going to be great in the real time solar in one. So very excited about this. We can get rid of the charge controller now. And that will let us uh, run this much more efficiently. So, anyway, um, I'll make a few changes to the final. This is the prototype. And on this one, I've got the wire running the backside. On the final, I'll make a, an actual hole through here. I'll print in a hole that the wire can run through or an indentation so that there's no wire sticking out. And depending on the thickness of the panel, these LEDs stick up a little bit, which is fine because it's a clamshell design. But I'll probably redesign this with the plastic along the edge a little thicker so that the LEDs are flush with the top so that this could be a thinner device to fit in solar panels better. But anyway, that's where I'm at with this. I'm very excited about this. Let's all keep experimenting, and uh, we'll talk later.